Hi guys and welcome to another quick video tutorial here on the Kiki and Manny Photography blog. My name is Manny and today's tutorial I want to show you guys a quick black and white conversion in Bridge and how to create a preset of that. So next time if you've got a lot of images you can create one image to black and white or convert that to black and white and then have the preset set up and ready to go with one click on all your other images. Now in the last two tutorials we discussed all about uh, how to work with Bridge. We discussed how to work with the upper tools and with the adjustment panels and today I just quickly want to show you guys how I work with this and create a normal black and white image. This is in no means a super nice black and white image, just my way of doing it. So have fun and let's get going. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is double click. I'm in my content area in Bridge at the moment and I'm going to go through to Camera Raw now and just double click on here and it will take in me directly into Camera Raw. Now as you guys can see, I still got the image as I shot it and as it's coming out of the camera. Um, I'm going to go over to the right hand side here, click on that box and I'm still going to say camera raw defaults just to be sure to set it totally back because I photoshopped on it already. So it's setting back now. Okay, so the first thing I want to do to change this to a black and white image is I want to go over to my HSL grayscale sliders over here and say convert to grayscale. So I'm going to tick off this box here, convert to grayscale and directly you can see my image has been changed to a black and white negative or a black and white image. Now, as you guys can see, it looks very flat and I just want to give it a bit more of a push and do some small changes around it. So first thing I'm going to do is go back to my basic settings over here and in basic settings, going to move my fill light a little bit, my blacks a little bit, brightness, all of these sliders and try what looks the best for me. First thing that I always do is with white balance and temperature, I change this to 4500. This is mostly the settings temperature I use for all my studio work. Okay, keep it there. Then exposure would leave that for a moment. Uh, what I want to do is turn the blacks up a little bit. What I mostly do, if you're new to this program, I turn up these sliders all the way. Just to see how intense this stuff gets and what happens to your image. Okay, turn this down a little bit more again. And I think around about 23, okay, the hair gets really, really dark now. Say about 20, gonna leave it for there now, 20%, then brightness, gonna leave that. My contrast, I wanna push my contrast a little bit, push it even further and further. Uh, not too much. Okay, say around also 35, 36%. Then clarity, I'm not going to work with that at the moment. You can sharpen your image a little bit and just boost your contrast as well a little bit. All the fine details as you guys can, maybe you can see it. If you notice on the skin right now, the skin gets really, really sharp and just makes a, a bit darkish feeling on the skin. So I'm not going to work a lot with this now. If you want to change it back to zero, just highlight the number, press zero and you're back to normal. Then obviously I want to do my recovery a bit. I'm going to push that all the way up. Yes, and as I notice, the skin gets really dark and looks very burned, so I'm not going to do that too much, just a little bit, little tint of that, because at the moment it looks very, very bright. But I still got a secret in my pocket. I'm also able to go to HSL Grayscalers again, and in here I can change my reds, orange, yellows, and all these colors, and adjust the, these as well. So what I'm going to do now is take the reds, and move them really really down and as you guys can see have a look at the lips at the lips you can see it the best now this was pretty much the normal exposure and if I turn down the reds because the re lips have so many reds in it then it just gets really really dark and darker okay I don't want to make an emo picture out of this so I'm gonna change this up again a little bit and my orange try that Okay, and now we can see the skin gets very burnt, so I'm not going to work a lot with orange. Obviously, we've got a lot of orange in that skin. Okay, then we're going to leave it over there, 25% and red 19%. And move back to my basic exposure. And in basic, want to push the blacks a little bit more. My fill light, just give it a tint of fill light, not too much, around 3%. My exposure, I'm going to take that down just a little bit say minus 20 percent and fill light up again now on each image it depends what are you doing or what happens to your image or how you shot it each slider will do something different so try it out work a little bit with these sliders and try what suits you and what what your style is or what you like the most then last tip that I got over here is in my detail slider I want to turn up the amount just a little bit say around 40 percent just to give it a bit more of a sharpen and radius down a little bit. Say 0.5 or something over there. Yeah, 0.6 should actually be okay. 
Then going to move back to my basic sliders, have a look over it. It looks a bit darker to me, so the blacks maybe a tint too high. Say around 17%, okay. And last step that I'm going to do over here is going to move back to my lens correction. And going to go all the way down to lens vignetting. And now what happens, I want to do a lens vignetting around this image just to have it a bit more the focus center in the, Im in the, in the middle of the image. And around the image should be a bit darker, so the eye leads into the image and it looks just a bit better. So what I'm going to do, lens vignetting, turn that all the way down and my midpoint as well. And then amount up again a little bit to see when it suits the image, because now it just pops out really a lot, but then I still would work a bit with highlights or with a, with a fill light. But for now, I'm going to turn amounts up just a little bit. Keep it over there. Okay, going to move back to my basic exposure and in here fill light a little bit again. Now, as you guys saw, I'm moving back and forth in these sliders and try out what really works for me. Everybody has a different approach and likes something different, so try what suits you and what you like the most. Okay, so that's everything I wanted to do on the skin and like it pretty much like that, my black and white image now. Now I want to save this and apply this to another 100 or say 20 images. Doesn't matter how many images you've got, you want to apply all of these uh, images with this setting, so you want to create a quick preset. So what I'm going to do now, I did all my adjustments on my sliders, and now the last step I'm going to do is go over to this arrow here on the side again, tap on here, and go all the way down to say save settings. Now this means that these adjustments that you just did on this black and white image, you're going to save all of these settings in one preset. Next time you're going to Photoshop or you're doing an image, you like that black and white conversion, you apply that preset and da da, you've got everything set for you, like in Lightroom. Save settings and directly you'll see a new window pop up. Save settings down here. Subset, this means that all these adjustments that we just did are highlighted and all these adjustments will be saved. You just want to say save, yes, and now you are able uh, in a new window to create a name for that. So what I'm going to do is say I'm going to create a black and white black and white that's my uh, name for my preset and I'm gonna hit save down here save and I'm done now I'm able to hit open object or say done and my preset is already installed and finished and saved now next time I'm photoshopping I'm hitting done now at the moment so I'm back into bridge and I've got these eight images here and I want to apply this black and white to all of my eight images so what I'm gonna do is control A command A or control A on the PC and double click on here and all these images will be opened in camera raw and as you guys can see I still got some presets on or I had some conversions on these images already so what I'm going to do is over here at the top go to select all then over the right hand side just quickly camera raw default so everything is pretty normal this is the way I shot these images and now I want to apply that preset to these images so what I'm going to do is go over here again wait before we go over there select all again that's always important select all then go over here to the right hand side tick this box on the side and go all the way down to say load settings or you are also able to go under your preset sliders here and just select black and white now the other option was go to load settings and you're able to load this setting as well. Load and it will be loaded on all these images. Now as you guys can see directly camera raw applies it to all your images. No need if you're seeing one image okay that doesn't look so nice or on this one it looks a bit too dark. You are also able to go back in your settings here on the right hand side your adjustment sliders and change them individually again. So no need to stress you can always change stuff or go through. And then last step you're going to do again, select all, go down here to save images and you're able to save your images wherever you want to. Now this is the easiest way for me to apply a lot of images with black and white, doing a preset and just run that preset on all images. Or if you have presets that work for you that you love, apply them to your images and that's the quickest way to do it. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys today. Thank you for watching. My name is Manny and see you next week on another Technical Wednesday Rundown. Bye bye.